Namaste and welcome to today's Kids Yoga Meets Astrology. My name is Doreen Foxwell and normally I come to you from my yoga space, but because I have a new puppy that has to follow me everywhere, I decided to just do it in my living space right now. Uh, because she's napping, but the moment she hears me go up into my yoga space, she comes a running. So I wanted to share with you that this full moon is not your typical full moon. Um, it is also a partial lunar eclipse, which means that for part of it and a very long part of it, uh, it is going to appear partially darkened. Uh, from the path uh, between the sun, the moon, and the earth. And an eclipse is really important to understand that the energy of an eclipse affects children and adults. And eclipses are a time that we need to eclipse things out of our life. Otherwise, lessons keep repeating and they get stronger and stronger. Now, today's eclipse is one of two final eclipses that are happening this fall. And we had the earlier eclipses this year. I can't remember if it was May or June. Um, but when those eclipses happened, we were in the middle of eclipse season. A lot of things occur in the middle of eclipse seasons. And some are um, things that help benefit you, like when things end in your life or are released in your life, new beginnings happen and new beginnings are wonderful. It could be a new job, a new career for adults. For children, it could be new friendships, a new school, new activities. Um, we also have to look at behaviors that we have to release. Sometimes we have behaviors and the children especially you wanna look at and you want them to look at if their behaviors are helping them to really get them what they want and to grow. And for instance, we all know when children are toddlers, they have tantrums. Toddlers are known for their tantrums. But tantrums don't work when you become an adult. So we have to quickly teach our toddlers that the tantrums are not going to produce the results that they want. So it's easier then to nip it in the bud than to let that behavior continue. And that's uh, just an example. There are so many types of behaviors um, that carry over from our childhood into adulthood that if we didn't learn as children that our certain behaviors, you know, bring certain reactions and they're not necessarily the reactions we want, then we're going to keep doing it into our adulthood. And so you want to look at that too right now with this eclipse to release and help your children release those behaviors and actions that just don't serve their purpose and what their desired goal is and what the end game is and what they want to achieve. And so this is all going on and it's going to be expanded right now a lot because of the eclipse and so working with the full moon's energy let's say is a great time to really look at things in your children's lives and in your own lives and just kind of say am i am i where i want to be am i who i want to be with am i in the field i want to be working is you know Am I creating what I wanted to create in my life? And you look at your children's if they're on the right path at their very young age, because it's not the children's place to know, the child's place. It's our, all of us as parents or grandparents as adults to know and lead them um, in the right direction so that they become fruitful and responsible adults that are kind and loving and successful in their own rights, whatever that might be for them. So now that I've said all those kind of things with this full moon, it happens to fall in my sign and my mother's and my brother's, one of my brother's, and my aunts, we're all Pisces, so funny. 
Um, and we're all very different Pisces, which is also very interesting because you're not just your sun sign. But because this full moon falls in Pisces, I understand the flavor and the feelings and the emotions that are coming out in children, in adults, all around us. Because Pisces are a water sign and water signs are emotional. And I actually call the Pisces the grandmothers of the Zodiac, which I am proudly. But just think about how mushy those grandmothers are. If you had a mushy grandmother, I had other types of grandmothers. Let's just say Jewish grandmothers aren't necessarily mushy types. But think of your typical types of grandmothers and they're very mushy and kissy and emotional and cry a lot. And, and that's Pisces, part of Pisces. Uh, Pisces also, we, we dream, we bring those dreams to reality. We, we love dreaming. We wear our rose colored glasses a lot. And that's another thing, anyone that knows me knows that I have a really hard time myself knowing when someone's not being truthful to me. I am terrible at it. Um, and it has just been like a thorn in my side that I get burned or hurt a lot because I cannot tell when somebody's being disingenuous or dishonest. And so I just wasn't online for that when we came down here to earth. And also because I'm a Pisces, you know, I have my rose colored glasses on and, and I live in my own little world sometimes. So for this full moon, it is not necessarily recommended to put out your crystals in this full moon. There are certain full moons to do that, to charge your crystals, and there are others that are not. Not saying not to do it, but when you put your crystals out during certain full moons, it takes on the intensity, the charge of it. Because it's eclipses, you could potentially have some crystals that get even damaged or wind up falling and breaking afterwards from the intensity of the eclipse energy. So I would leave the crystals safe and sound wherever they might be and cleanse or charge them another way. You can smudge them, you can use water. For some, you need to know which ones not to use water. Smudging is um, the type of smoke that you can use above and below them. Or you can just even hold a crystal and you can just set an intention for your crystal for healing purposes, for abundance, whatever it might be based on the crystal. And so lastly, some of you follow angels, and I love angel oracle type cards now. Um, and there is an angel that has to do with the moon, and that angel is Haniel. Haniel is the angel that you may want to send prayers out to, wishes, goals, dreams, whatever, that you need to release uh, to live your greatest life and your greatest purpose and, you know, to do all that you can do and be successful at, it's Haniel. So if you believe in prayer or in sending out those types of thoughts, that's the one that you could ask for. And so I'm going to end with rubbing my hands in front of my heart. And it's very interesting that in yoga for thousands of years, namaste, is your hands in front of your heart. It's also very interesting to me and not lost to me that in um, the Catholic Church and uh, Christians and Protestants, they always pray with their namaste hands. What's older? Yoga is older and the history of yoga is older. So just something else to think about. So yoga friends, I hope you enjoyed this little info today. It's a little bit different than other videos I do because I'm not in my yoga space. I wish you a beautiful full moon eclipse. It also is a super moon, which means it's closer if you can see it. I can't where I am because it's been raining and cloudy for days, but I hope you see that beautiful, gorgeous full moon eclipse tonight into tomorrow. You'll be able to see it really two days worth. And um, I think it's also uh, more of an orange tin and I think it's called the Hunters, don't quote me. I should have looked that one up, but it didn't um, for this time of year. So 
Namaste yoga friends. Have a great yoga day. Happy super full moon eclipse in the sign of Pisces.